In this video, we will be going over how to move files and folders from one folder to another folder, as well as how to copy uh, files and folders from one folder to another folder. Okay, so to get started, we're going to check the contents of the Apple directory. So that's the app the directory we'll be playing around with. And so if we look at the contents of the Apple directory, you can see I have uh, one Apple subfolder and one empty subfolder. So those are the two subfolders uh, located uh, within this directory. Then I have a bunch of uh, PNG files, which is just image files, and I have one dir.txt. Okay, so now we're going to check if we have an Apple II directory. Whenever you move into a directory whose file name or directory name has a space in between, as you can see in this case, Apple II, there's a space in between, you always have to use quotation marks. So just remember that. Okay, so we'll try to see the into Apple II it can't find it, so we have to create it. So MK DIR Apple II. So we've created it. So let's just uh, make sure by moving into it, and we move it into it, and we can see there's no files located within the directory. So we'll come back into Apple. We're going to move all the text files from Apple into Apple II. So within Apple, we had one uh, text file dir.txt so so we're only going to be able to move one but I'm going to use a wildcard that's going to move all the text files from Apple directory into Apple 2 okay so to do so I will just uh, move asterisk.txt and the directory that we want to move in I will just copy paste this and then make sure we close the space here and since this path name has a space, uh, Apple II has a space in between, we have to put the whole path within quotation marks. Okay, so this command is uh, move, uh, asterisk.txt will move all the te text files from the directory that we're currently in, so inside the Apple directory. So we'll be moving all the text files from the Apple directory into C users Mundra Apple II directory. Since we're already in the Apple directory, we don't have to type in this whole full path. But if we we're in a different directory, we would have to type the whole full path uh, backs, backslash asterisk.txt. So this uh, command move all the text files into from Apple into Apple II. And as you can see, it says one file move. So let's check the DIR of Apple. And the uh, DIR.txt seems to be gone. So let's move into Apple 2 and let's check the DIR. So if we check the DIR, we can see there's a one uh, text file called dir.txt. So we were successfully able to move the file, uh, the text files. Okay. So let's say now we wanted to move all of the files from the app directory into the Apple 2 directory. So let's go back into the uh, Apple directory and we have the files that are remaining are just uh, PNG files. We unfortunately can't move the folders, but we can move all the files. So in this case right now, there are only PNG files. So let's do that. We're going to move all the files. So in this case, uh, we only have PNG files, which are image files, but the code we're going to write is going to move all the files into um, Apple II. So to do that, we're going to use the move command again, and this time, just the uh, asterisk should work. Move asterisk and we want to move into Apple 2. Oh no, I copied too many things. Let's just clear screen, move, um, let's just copy Apple 2. And let's not forget our uh, quotation marks. We need to have a space in between these two. Okay, so this should move all of the files into Apple II. As you can see, it moved all seven files from Apple into Apple II. So if we check uh, the directory of Apple, all that's remaining are these uh, two folders, which we can't move using the uh, move command. Yeah, so let's check the Apple II directory. Apple, uh, we have the CD first. Yes, there we go. Okay, Apple. CD, sorry, Apple 2. Okay, DIR, as you can see, um, all the image files have moved into this directory. Okay, so 
so let's just clear screen so as i had previously said unfortunately we can't move subfolders with the uh the move command but for that purpose we have a command called robocopy not robocop robocopy so let's move back to the apple directory cd 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 apple so now we have two empty subfolders there's an apple subfolder empty folder and the other one is has a, a dir file so let's just cd into this uh, now we can check and as you can see there's one file that's uh, called empty.txt one file empty.txt that's located in that subfolder and in empty subfolder uh, let's see dir there is nothing there okay so let's move back into let's actually move back to mundra so what we're going to do is actually we're going to robocopy all the contents of apple the subfolders into a newly created uh, directory so we're not going to robocopy into apple 2 we can actually create a new directory on the fly okay so the command is robocopy and we'll have a couple of parameters yeah, this is, and now we have to, we have to specify from which directory we want to move into since we're in mundra um, i think we could still yeah it's always better to state your path so we're going to move from copy all the contents from this directory into a newly created one which will create in the mundra directory so we don't actually it's better to explicitly uh, state which directory we want to create so in this case we will create mundra 3 um, apple 3 okay all right so i'm going to explain everything uh, let me just move this up a little bit okay Okay, so the, the command is robocopy slash s slash e. So slash s means all, include all the subfolders. We're going to copy all the files and subfolders. At this current time, we don't have any files located within Apple. So it's just going to take all the subfolders. And slash e is another parameter which um, represents empty folders as well. So by adding slash e, we'll also move all the empty folders. Copy, sorry, not move, copy. We'll also copy all the empty folders. So we're going to copy all the subfolders as well as empty folders. So this is your source, uh, C users Mundra Apple. And this is your destination, C users Mundra Apple 3. And we don't have an Apple 3 folder, so we can actually create one on the fly by making the uh, destination, this uh, C, Mundra, C users App, Mundra Apple 3. So it's going to be creating it on the fly. So this should work and let's check. And it looks three were copied. Um, so let's just double check. First, we will move into Apple three. And if we check the directory, yes. So we were able to successfully copy um, Apple subfolder and empty folder. And I spelled empty wrong, which is unfortunate, but okay. So, yeah, so that's how you actually um, copy. You can't move subfolders and folders, but there's actually a parameter that allows you to delete the source folder. So after copying everything to a new folder, you can actually delete the source folder. So it's essentially moving everything from one uh, folder to the other. So if we look at, let's go back to Apple. Okay, if you look at DIR and Apple, we still have these two subfolders. And because all we did was copy, we haven't moved them. So there's a parameter with uh, robocopy that allows you to actually move everything and then delete the original the source folder so let's see let's go robocopy uh, robocopy and we will be robocopy it's a slash s no, sorry forward slash forward slash forward slash e and we want to move everything from apple so we can explicitly just uh, copy the path. Okay. Oops, and I forgot to add the parameter we want, which is, okay. So I think this should delete all the directories as well. So Apple, 
Oh, not Apple 3. Let's create Apple 4. So, so this should work. And should have deleted the contents of Apple. And as you can see, it actually deleted it. CD Apple. There is no more Apple. And if CD into Apple 4, check the directory. So we have an Apple subfolder and empty folder. So this actually, by using the uh, the move parameter with the RoboCopy, we were actually able to delete the original folders, Apple folders, and uh, copy everything into the uh, newly created Apple 4. So it's, it's the same thing as move. I'm not sure why they don't have an option to move subfolders. Yeah. All right, so that's it for uh, RoboCopy, uh, moving folders, and, that's, and all the parameters that we went through.